My name is Michelle Lawrence Adams. On behalf of Historic Mission San Juan, we want to welcome you to our Preservation in Action moment. It's an attempt by our leadership team to try to expose history in action and to be transparent in our stewardship decisions made on site on the caretaking of significant artwork and archaeological features. Today we're in the Sarah Chapel and there's a painting that's been installed for about 40 years that sits on top of what is potentially a historically significant painting. We put together a team of professionals that we're really excited about. They're going to help us remove that overpainting to determine what lies underneath. So whatever happens today, you know, it's not the end, it's actually the beginning of a chapter. And that chapter will be revealed to, our, to us as we read it. Uh, I think what will happen is that as stewards, when we rely on the expert opinions and recommendations of professionals, we have to weigh the significance versus the safety of the project at hand versus the budget resources available. Hopefully, whatever we do will be done in a manner that respects the integrity of the original artist. And we do all of this today with a thousand kids and a field trip at the mission. And we are a living place of history and worship every day. Um, but as we do this, we, don't, we can't predict the outcome. All we can say today is that it's an investigative process and the history reveals itself and that the professionals will give us some outcomes and options as to what to do next. About a third of the way, yeah. and then about a third of the way here, um, that we perceive perhaps are going into the side of the canvas okay. and into bar the painting itself. Oh, okay. okay. They're, they're finished nails, so the, and the heads are set kind of flush to the canvas. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge to dig them out. Um, the first discovery that we found is that the nails that are in the painting on the top are hammered or nailed into the original painting on the side in the middle of the top. And we're going to go ahead and make the decision to remove those nails. as though it's part of plaster, but we'll, we don't, we, you know, I didn't test it or anything yet, yeah. But this is that area here. So we'll come move down, remove the nails? Yeah. next nails. Yeah. Okay. There's a good shot. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good shot. Yeah, yeah I think it's a great shot. Yeah. So that's, okay. that's what's going on at the moment. Okay. Because it's that corner, still it's still wedged in yeah there. pretty solid so something's holding it right you know there. this looks like a oh, look at that piece of gold leaf coming down looks like this might be one right here yeah uh, okay and then these it's just sitting on those yeah okay so scaffold well there's a there's another nail yeah, we're up high on this side. I don't know, it's really set. It's really set. Either draw the head through the stretcher bar or, or pull the nail out of the... You really don't. I'm not. Well, I don't want to pull straight out because that'll, that'll tear. There, there's definitely a nail in there. I can feel it. It's underneath the... It's in that hole right there. They've driven yeah, the head. Yeah, it's underneath the canvas. Yeah. Going good. I think could, according to plan, considering we didn't have one. <laughs> if this is the wall, the brackets come in like that parallel to the wall, and the bottom of the canvas is sitting on top of it. So one of them, uh, even though the bracket is mounted to the canvas, is off the wall and off the frame. The other feels and looks like 
it's stuck in the frame. So that's what they're doing now. There's just one really tough screw to getting that L bracket off the wall. Fortunately, we discovered that it was just nailed to the uh, painting underneath and we were able to remove the nails carefully and uh, it, it actually came down pretty smoothly. A prayer just fell out of the painting. Uh, virtually no damage to the painting underneath or the painting we took off, so it was all in all pretty successful compared to what we might have discovered when we got here. surprised that the painting underneath is as in good of condition as it really is. I was expecting perhaps a giant loss, uh, a very big tear, um, or something in that nature, which uh, was the reason why they decided to cover it up. Um, however, um, the linen is in very good condition. Um, obviously, there's a lot of dirt and grime. Um, there's a few missing pieces that are not important places in the canvas and it needs to be restretched because it's loose, there's rippling, and from what I understand there's actually old stucco behind that canvas which is falling into the canvas between the canvas layer and the wall and so the entire piece would have to be removed and a backing board would have to be put on and, and the wall then repaired and then it would have to be remounted. Great, okay, well, hey. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was a fun day. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.